welcome to this video today we are going to have a complete bridge tour with our fellow second mate so stay tuned to this video and it will be very very interesting to watch so here we roll it Okay, now let's talk to our second mate about the bridge. So today our second is Simon will give us intro about the bridge. So we will hand over to him. Okay, Simon, let's yeah, let's. My name let's is Simon Sakhe, from South Africa. Will you a small talk about our bridge in our bridge equipment or what we use in our daily basis to avoid collision and stuff? Firstly, because most people what they expect or expect to see the steering wheel. Not like old days where there will be, you know, big turning. Now our steering wheel is this much. But it's not like a car, normally at sea, deep sea, open sea, we put on autopilot, we put a course, and then we steer to that course. But on pilotage, then we'll be using our wheel, there will be a helmsman, and then there will be orders given from the captain or a pilot. And lastly, I will take you to our primary also equipment. This is our Agdis. It's a transverse Agdis. So this is like a paper chart. This is like a chart. Back in the day, there were paper charts people used to plot. Now everything is like digital. Now we are using the transverse chart. We can plot position. It's also plotting for itself. We put all our routes here. And then we keep and save our routes so it minimizes all the hassle and hard work which we have to enjoy. So this is our exits, different types of exits. Normally a ship will have two or three exits on board. So this is ours, this is our, our one, one station and then the second one station will go on the other side. Okay, okay. And then this is the pilot chair. So Simon, who is the pilot? The pilot is the guy we normally gonna take if we go to a certain area like now we're going to see in the morning, we're gonna go to pilot. The pilot is like the person which specializes on that certain area. He knows better, so he will come on board, he will advise us how to navigate going inside. And then coming outside also, we're gonna take the guy, he will leave us in deep sea, and then he will go back, and then we continue with our going. And then we'll go to New Zealand, and then in New Zealand, we're gonna receive another pilot. So okay. that's how it works. Like a pilot is our... Like a guide? Board, it's like a guide. Okay. Yes. And then this is our also a radar. This is uh, using echoes to detect targets in the water. Mm -hmm. Because someone is not like a car, you can visualize all the car and then you can avoid collision. For us, we need to detect the target very far so we can try to avoid collision. Like you can see from there, you can see one vessel far away, maybe you can see a shadow. This is 
is like our accelerator if you wanna you know compare to a car so we can we use head get slow move slow depending on the speed we want to adjust to moving forward to our thrusters this is our thruster control this is moving the ship mostly rotating the ship when the speed we are going in for when the speed is very low so the vessel is going to be using tanks and also at the same time we're going to be using some ships have a step thruster or a thruster, some ships have only one thruster. It depends on the make and the type of ship. So Simon, if there is a ship in front of us, like in car we horn, so where is the horn of the ship where we can, you know? The horn is uh, located on a different location. We can say it's a, a typhoon. We have one there. And this one is a dead man around. Mm -hmm. In case of this alarm which just ran, it's a dead man alarm. In case of I'm here in the bridge alone, and it happens that uh, I fall asleep or I collapse or something happens, it will come. It's normally set to 12 minutes. So every 10 minutes, I have to acknowledge and say, okay, I'm still alive. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't, if I don't acknowledge the alarm, it will go straight down to, to captain or to other officers. So you asked me about the typhoon. Yes. Yes, we have one there. The button for typhoon. We can also on that side. Too much noise. We're not gonna do now. ACC for announcement for the whole of the ship. We normally use this uh, PA system. And uh, this is our VHF radio for communication wise with other vessel. If you wanna talk with other vessel, but it can only go to a certain range. So we can go, we can talk with other vessels using this uh, VHF and we also can call the port which we are going to to confirm our arrival and everything to the port. And then this is our echo sounder. No, normally our echo sounder like we are in the water is under keel. So we need to know how much distance do we have from the ship to the bottom. So this one is keeping on checking the distance. As you can see right now, it's 151 meters. Meters. This is in meters. And this is our GPS. Normally, you know what is a GPS, giving our position, distance we've covered, all in that. And we have a VDR equipment, which is uh, continuously recording everything, every information which is happening. Same as in the aeroplane, we have like a black box, which is recording. If anything happens, then they can get information, and uh, they can be able to play this information and see what actually happened and what we said on the last minute. And, uh, this is our bridge wing. You can see our bridge wing.
is our master clock. Uh, there's a lot of questions with regards to, to clock something. So this is the master clock. So when I adjust this clock, it will adjust all the clocks in the ships, which are here, so they will go in the same time. When do we adjust clocks? As you know, we are traveling a lot. We are covering a lot of miles. We are covering a lot of miles, so we have to change clocks. Like, let's say Australia is plus 10, you go to New Zealand, it's plus 80, you go to South Africa, it's plus 2. So we have to adjust the clocks as per the, our arrival point. So it's, it's going to be different. Sometimes it can be 6 hours, sometimes it can be 10 hours. You know, so we have to keep adjusting our clock. So normally we would adjust clock. If 6 hours we have maybe 10 days of sailing, each day we will take one day each day maybe skip two days another clock so we retire in advance as the clock so normally this is done at midnight and then everybody wakes up in the morning we are on a new time but announcement is made so everybody can adjust their clocks before they go to sleep but when they come in the morning it's a new time